the resources which you can use is i'll suggest you can use netacad and one more resource which i will suggest this computer network lectures by ravindra babu ravula sir so first part dsc is done second part in the middle we can do projects which are important uh, for making your resume stand out and third is uh, your core computer science subjects which you have to practice and don't put anything in your resume about which you are under confident or you think that i know it but i don't know it that well you can't be that much transparent like you have to be a little practical so Hello and welcome to another episode of Ajab Interview Ki Gazab Kahani. Today we have Devjani Malik with us and she's from Cisco. So let's hear from her. Devjani, can you please introduce yourself? First of all, thanks a lot Insurance Cradle for having me here. Hello everyone, I'm Devjani Malik, a 2022 computer engineering pass out from Ramrawati Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Currently I'm working as a consulting engineer in Cisco. Uh, that's great. So Devjani, uh, tell us about your engineering college days. and uh, about your study how were you in uh, you know academically did you perform well so tell us about that so college days were really fun i learned a lot of things at masti with my college friends did internships did projects learned tech stacks like web development machine learning a little bit of android so over some overall it was a wholesome experience for me and academically yes i was academically right in my college days i stood first in my college with a cgpa of 9.85 oh wow that's great uh, moving to my next question uh, tell us about when did you decide that you want to be a uh, place at cisco or uh, did it happen naturally okay so actually uh, i got placed in cisco in 20 2021 so uh, from 2020 only that is the covid year uh, cisco uh, started that idathon program or uh, the that idathon program got launched in our college so i guess it was there in 2019 also but uh, it didn't happen in our college so uh, last year three people had uh, got placed from a college and they had come to give us a tech talk so they were telling us about how many rounds were there what all happened they were telling about the experiences so that was the time i decided that yes uh, i want to uh, take part in this placement i want to uh, try for cisco so that is when i thought that i'll try for cisco and uh, for idea thorn like i like to add like uh, there was a prerequisite that uh, you have to do some netacad course like be it devnet or ccna so you can't uh, decide just at the time of registration you have to start preparing for that courses from one or two months back for idea thorn idea thorn is a all india hiring challenge by cisco for in turns plus fd that is full time engineers so in our time like uh, it was a six month long uh, i guess four month long process including excluding the registrations but uh, this year it was only two months long so the juniors were lucky so there were total six rounds uh, first was preliminary round so there were a mix of mcqs of uh, dbms computer networks basic submitting tcp ip osi model questions and some code snippet questions like find the time complexity given some recursion snippets the second round which was a very interesting round was a video submission round so they had given us a topic a problem and we have to find a innovative solution to it so coupled with technology we have to find how we can tackle the solution and film ourselves and make a 90 seconds video out of it so i enjoyed that round a lot and the third round was your regular coding round with coding questions and mcqs and then there were the three interviews that is the first one was the technical interview the second one was the managerial interview and the third one was the hr interview so uh, the technical interview it was about 1 or 15 minutes long for me so for the technical interview he will really deep dive into your core computer science subjects at least for me it happened that way so from the start after the intro he went straight into all the routing protocols bgp ospf rip he asked it all and uh, one tip which i would like to give is that try to divert the interview in a direction in which you want the interview you, you go to like when i was asked about bgp i deliberately added a line in 
the end that BJP converges faster and has better load balancing capability than RIP. So instantly his next question was, tell me more about RIP. So that helps like trying to add a sentence in the end to the direction we are interview to go to. Then he asked me questions on traffic congestion, fragmentation, segmentation, what's the difference for mobile network? Is it circuit switched, packet switched? Then he moved to OS and then a few situational questions. So that was the technical interview. Then uh, on the next day, we had the managerial interview. It was about one hour long. So it was a mix of technical questions as well as scenario-based questions. So what I felt was that the managerial round was more of a pressure building round. Like uh, they want to test how you act in different situations. What will be your response given different circumstances? So you have to be very calm and very confident during your managerial round. We can't change the answers and we have to be consistent. Like they will try to make you change your answers, but we don't have to do it. And so that was the managerial round. And the last one, like the HR round in Cisco is really very sweet. So after the HR round, um, after two, three days, the results got declared and I've selected. Oh, well, I think it was quite hectic to give six interview rounds. So I would like to congratulate you for making it to Cisco. So tell us about the difficulty level of this interview round. So if uh, suppose I am someone who knows a ve very little about the basic concepts. So how difficult would it be for me to crack Cisco? Okay. So uh, definitely I wouldn't say that it's very easy because given the number of rounds and in every round, a different skill of yours is going to be tested. But what I feel is that because it has so many rounds and if we view it like as the process, ki now I'm in August and uh, the result will come out in November and there are so many rounds. So it will get overwhelming for any student, especially we know in the final year, students are already tensed. So what I would suggest is that for a company which has so many rounds, and it is spanning for such a long time and there are other placements also which you will be appearing for in the middle so what i would suggest is take it round by round like when you are preparing for preliminary round just think about it like main sochti thi ki abhi preliminary round hai so abhi bas main ye sochu ki main ye nahi sochungi ki iske baad aur aur bahut kuch uske baad se isko like i would just think okay this is the round i want to clear it so thinking round by round because all the rounds are elimination rounds so if you don't do well in any round also then also even if you are good at something it was just bad luck you are going to get eliminated the competition is there so it's better to think round by round instead of the bigger picture like main isko ke bare mein sochti bhi nahi thi interview se pehle पहले इतने राउंड्स थे मैं जस्ट राउंड बाय राउंड सोचती थी तो दैट रियली हेल्प्स सेकंड थिंग व्हिच आई फील इज इंपॉर्टेंट for Cisco is that you have to be good in your core computer science subjects like be it computer network, be it operating system, they are going to ask about it. So for the resources which you can use is, I'll suggest you can use NetAcad and one more resource which I will suggest is computer network lectures by Ravindra Babu Ravila sir, that uh, those lectures are available on YouTube as well and he's a brilliant teacher, like he will make you fall in love with computer networks. So I will surely recommend that that is going to help you a lot in your or interview process or your preparation for Cisco or with any other computer network based company. So that will cover your whole part for computer networks. I can definitely say that. Okay, so now you told uh, gave us something more interesting that is the resources. So I think uh, people will really appreciate that. But what I want to ask you is, uh, was the placement at Cisco full time or part time? Okay, so originally, uh, it was an internship plus full time offer. So after the results got declared in November, so we had to do a six months internship that is from January to July. And then there was full time joining. So mostly all of us who did the internship, we got the full time offer. But yes, there is an internship before and then the full time offer. Okay, uh, next question is, so uh, you said that you had suddenly come to offline college, everything was being offline again. How difficult was it to manage both the things? Yeah, actually, for me, managing both uh, the internship and college was difficult because we all were so used to that online mode. And truly, the offline mode, we didn't experience kiya nahi tha. First year was hua tha, fir corona gaya tha. So we didn't get that much experience of college life, actually. Everything went at home only. So, and when we were in eighth semester, initially, there was a confusion. Ki college jana hai ki nahi. So, initially... 
it started as online lectures and then they told no now colleges are reopening and we have to go and my internships were also going on but uh, cisco was very supportive they really helped us because uh, there were some students from other colleges and for them the curriculum was slightly different like they only have the industrial internship in their eighth semester but for some of us we had both like we have a regular college curriculum as well as uh, the internship it was not there in the college curriculum it was something we were doing extra so it was difficult for us to manage that because there were practicals there were submissions uh, there was this internship project which everyone wanted to do their best because it was the first professional project of our lives so i remember sometimes i would stay up till 3 in the night again get up in the morning write the assignments then run to college get it checked come back and then again work for my project so really it was hectic but now when i think about it i really feel proud of myself that i did it so it was a good experience like i feel i have never been that busy in my life even now that i was in my internship days tell us about your first day at cisco how was it were you nervous or were you excited so after our internship ended in july we were given one month break and then uh, we were uh, called to bangalore uh, for joining uh, in the office uh, when our full time starts so And there were six seven people who went from Mumbai. We went together. It was like we were feeling it is like a picnic. So many children are going together. Fifteen days accommodation was arranged by Cisco. So uh, the first day when we went to Cisco, so there were about two hundred hello colleagues uh, who came in. So everyone came in buses from the hotel, and everyone stood before the gate in a line, and we were looking through the gate inside the Cisco campus. So it was like kids are looking inside, and they want to go inside. Finally, we got our badges made, and we. explored the campus the whole day like the campus is so huge and cisco campus in bangalore is so beautiful like the entire day we were just roaming the campus seeing here and there what is there what is there in this bgm what is there in that bgm so the first day feeling like there were so many uh, fellow colleagues like because uh, it was a mass uh, drive where uh, students were recruited for uh, the cisco so there were so many people and uh, we were staying in the same hotel so all had become friends so it was the first day was more of like a good picnic arranged by cisco where everyone enjoyed a lot but still i would say like it has been 4 months since i have been going to office now as a full time but every time i go to cisco or even when coming back i look back i feel so grateful looking at the campus oh yes so uh, you know you were talking about uh, how your first day was how excited you were uh, has it changed now after having worked for 4 months at the same place so has it changed now <laughs> it hasn't changed much but yes before we didn't have any work like first like in every company like first two weeks they will give you a little time to get adjusted uh, to understand things but now of course uh, there is work we can't roam about the whole day but then also i'll say uh, the feeling hasn't changed we still chill around because i like when i'm in bangalore i stay in the campus till quite late like even after my work is done we friends we just chill around in the campus only so the experience is still very fresh like every day is like first day still for us even though it has been four months now oh that sounds quite exciting what are your go to tools for preparation for the interviews what how did you prepare so uh, for any campus placement like if you are uh, doing on site off campus or on campus so the first rounds or the preliminary rounds are usually dsa rounds like there will be coding rounds so you have to prepare that but very well and uh, they always say that in interview you know luck counts but i personally believe the harder you work the luckier you get because uh, the more number of questions you do the more variety of questions you do there there comes a very high probability that uh, in the interview the interviewer is going to ask you a very similar question to what you have already done so hard work is something which you have to do uh, if you want to get lucky there is no shortcut to get lucky it is just hard work and so dsc is something which you have to concentrate on and i would say like just start doing it uh, right from the end of second year because it is going to help you uh, rather than uh, worrying and then starting hurrying and doing it in the end started from the beginning only so you can do it on your pace you can do your development projects also like there if you are not uh, feeling like okay coding to kar raha upar maza nahi aa raha thoda kuch aur seekhna hai bore ho ja raha ho because that happens like you feel that stagnancy so you can learn something like you can do web development make a project do internships so that is also going to add to your resume uh, or you can do machine learning android whatever you find interesting you can pick it up learn something there are so many resources available now on youtube for learning do a dummy project uh, apply on internship or do an internship so that really makes a very good impact on the interviewer when you see that okay i have done this internship instead of just saying that uh, tech stacks i know this this 
uh, it was very beneficial if you say that okay i know this and i have utilized my skills in an internship and i did this these were the challenges i faced how i made a work around for them so it is going to create a very good impact so first part dsc is then second part in the middle we can do projects which are important uh, for making your resume stand out and third is uh, your core computer science subjects which you have to practice like be it operating system be it dbms be it computer networks so you have to know at least the basics of them because you can expect questions on these and then uh, one more tip which i would like to add is that uh, i often get messages on my linkedin from juniors uh, especially from my college uh, who ask me that uh, should i put this on my resume like wo chota lag raha hai resume zyada kuch dala nahi hai should i put this should i put this so what i would suggest is that don't put anything in your resume about which you are under confident or you think that i know it but i don't know it that well because if your your resume is a blueprint of yourself so if you put something in your resume and if you're not able to tell about it so it is not a very nice thing to happen in an interview because i know in my college so there was a person he was really good and he had put that uh, he has got 10 pointer in dbms and he was asked, so his interview went really well but in the end the interviewer asked him a question in it and he couldn't answer it satisfactorily so even though his entire interview went well just because for a statement in his resume for which he couldn't elaborate it or he couldn't prove it so uh, yaar interview itne round ka hota hai ek round mein ek cheez ke upar elimination ho jata hai so why to take risk like it's okay if there are less things in your resume but whatever is there we should be thoroughly confident about it like kuch bhi puch le we should be able to answer so even if there are few things or say you have learned very less technology stacks it's okay tech stacks kam hai projects thode zyada dal denge resume bharna hai na wo bhar denge so aisa nahi hai ki it's not necessary that we have to put something just for the sake of filling it just put those things about which you are confident it will showcase your strength you don't have to showcase your weaknesses because everyone has weaknesses but in our resume it should only highlight our strengths so this is one tip which i would like to give uh, the second thing which i would like to add is see failures will be a part and parcel of the placement journey like uh, a company will come for some reason maybe you will get rejected then we have to sit for another company but i like to say that especially in campus placements because uh, in line so many companies come from every rejection we learn something something which either we have to improve or something which we shouldn't say in interview like there are things which shouldn't be said in an interview and maybe we learn them only after getting rejected from the hr like even i was got even i had got rejected from the hr round of a company like i cleared all the rounds and then in the hr round i don't know why i said it i feel really stupid thinking why i told that but you know i was being truthful and in that flow i said it and so in every rejection you get a learning so taking that learning you have to go forward and start another journey so that is really important we don't have to get disheartened because in placements luck factor is also there because so many people are there different interview panelists will be there so luck factor is there how you do on a particular day that is also there. so rejections are okay it is a part and parcel of life just and move ahead we don't have to think much about it so uh, what i took away from this answer is that you have to be honest while uh, in you know in your resume but at the same time you also yeah. have to know what you have to say and what you don't have to say because that can make all the difference so uh, you know uh, how com- companies have different set of questions but one or two questions are very similar in i think every interview and that is introduce yourself so how can you answer that question in a way that will make you stand out from the crowd okay so uh... i guess this is the first question which is asked in every interview so be it a technical interview be it a managerial round or hr round so this is that one standard question with which your interview is going to start so what i used to do that when uh, he tells me that introduce yourself first give an introduction about you i have i'm doing my college uh, i take i've been computer engineering or whatever engineering you are doing from this and this college and then like uh, what i would recommend is that like many people they will tell okay i have been schooling from here i have done my 11 12 from here it is written there in your resume and i don't think it is important here because when you start your uh, interview with your introduction direct your interview 
in that direction so what i can recommend is that uh, while giving your introduction uh, you can talk about what i have learned what are my uh, so i'm proficient in maybe you are proficient in java c++ python i have learned these you can talk about these you can talk about your projects or you can talk about an internship so you can include these things in your internship and automatically the next question will go towards that so the introduction is very important because that is the point from where your interview is going to start so try to make a path so that the interview follows that path and you are in a lucky spot this is the first time i'm actually hearing it i always thought that the interviewer would ask random questions but now you are saying that you can actually direct your interview towards the path thank you so much for all the tips and tricks that you shared for all the resources that you have shared thank you so much for joining us in this interview and uh, telling us more about yourself and uh, how your internships and placements were so thank you so much